In our last episode, we gathered a bunch of cruising friends together and headed out to the reef in what ended up being the Shoot Harbour Cruising Yacht Club inaugural race. So we're off to Blue Pearl Bay this morning. We uh, stayed a couple of nights in, in uh, Butterfly Bay, which is one of our favourite anchorages, I have to say. Uh, beautiful and calm in there, got the sups out and played around, which is awesome. And uh, we thought we haven't either of us haven't been to Blue Pearl Bay. And the wind is going to be in the east, so we thought we might give it a go, see what it's like. It might be a bit rolly in there, we shall check it out. But there's supposed to be good snorkeling. And uh, so we'll see what it's like. We might head back to Stonehaven for the night and see how we go. But a uh, we're just cruising around the corner. It's not far away, about five miles or something like that. So we're just going to have a slow turtle. Be lovely. Darren's going to be the thumbs up guy. <laughs> we spent some time drifting along the tide, pondering the rock formations in the bay. Then popped on our gear for an explore underwater. What planet are you from? <laughs> Radio. We're ready to go snorkeling. Wow. The release to get wet. <laughs> Last night there, and uh, it was just the calmest anchorage we've had in uh, 
in a, in a good few days so it was really really lovely we'll definitely go back there again and do some more exploring but uh, yeah we're just coming past the um, the north uh, northwestern end of Hayman Island and I think we're going to tuck away in Nara Inlet for this for this weather that's going to come through tonight unfortunately <laughs> we're having to motor sail under Hetzel because we've just lost our main we've just uh, taken a tear in the uh, in the main along the luff so uh, we're going to have to um, do a bit of sewing and get that fixed up unfortunately we've just given our, our sewing machine away to some people <laughs> but never mind <laughs> we'll hand sew it and then uh, we'll order in our new sewing machine and hopefully that'll arrive within the next month <laughs> fingers crossed <laughs> anyway that's yachts that's boating that's the way it goes something and you'll need it. <laughs> anyway, come check this out. What's happening, my love? Oh, we've got a little, um, we need a little bit of attention on our main here. It's um, I just noticed when we pulled it up last time, we got a little bit of a tear in it. So uh, we unfortunately, we give away a sail machine, but we might be able to fix it with a bit of tape, and uh, that might just get us through just for the minute. The old sail repair tape. It's not too bad. Ideally this would work much better if it was flat on the deck but Anyway, you can see where the uh, the existing rip was. It's a little bit of a bit of a crease right down there. So we stuck a couple of pieces of fabric longways down each side, and then we've gone clean around the uh, around the bolt rope to uh, give it a little bit of extra strength. And um, when we when we get a sewing machine available, we'll just give that a bit of a stitch around the outside and. Uh, It'll be good as new, but 
the old sail type. You just can't go anywhere without it. It's just brilliant stuff. Magic. High five, my honey. Radio. So we are going to go on a bit of a trek now. There's some Aboriginal caves uh, up this track. And we are going to go and have a bit of a look see, see what we find. Check this out. Beautiful, what a view. Sarian is parked in a bay way up there around the corner. Nicely tucked away from the swell because the swell does wrap down this bay in the southeaster. So yeah, there's a little bay around there that you can tuck away from the wind. It's beautiful. So that entrance, which is the entrance to the bay, about 9,000 years ago, that was all uh, land. You couldn't actually get in here, it was all part of the mainland coastline. But the ocean has filled it up and now it's a bay. Amazing! Yeah, you can see old Cyclone Debbie's worked her magic up here. Oh wow. She's been everywhere. Oh, she's massacred. Yeah. Anyway, it's not too bad. It's all regenerating, which is fantastic. Wow. Still looks lovely. They've been up and cut down a whole lot of trees. Magical! This is quite cool. It's quite significant. I quite like it. The little sign says, pause for a moment and think about the generations that walked here long, long ago. And uh, they're speaking from behalf of the Naro people, the ancient people, to say, uh, please ask your permission um, to follow in the footsteps of their ancestors. So, place your hand. That's nice. It is. It's lovely, all the bushland. Beautiful. All the ferns and the trees. It's very peaceful, isn't it? It is lovely. So what a muli means welcome friends. That's nice. Welcome, thank you. What is now known as the Nara people used to roam these hills and inlets, fishing and foraging for food. Where we walk, they traveled hundreds of years ago and they utilized the cave systems in this area for shelter. This cultural site is a very interesting place. There are recordings that you can listen to from ancestors of the Nalarunga people, as they were known before white man gave them the name Naro. They talk of their spiritual connection to the area, to the animals, the significance and meaning of their artwork, the caves, how they survived in the area as proud and happy race of Aboriginal people who lived off the land and the sea. You could imagine back in the day when uh, when the weather was terrible this would have been a, a great little place to hide out. Yeah, so if you want to come and check out this beautiful spot, uh, it's up the very end of Nara Inlet in the Wet Sundays, and you'll see a little beach on the right-hand side as you come down the end of the bay. It's certainly worth uh, coming up here for a look. It's just a, it's got its own feel about this place. Very, very special. Yeah, very special. Very, we're very lucky, I think, to be allowed up here. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, if you're ever in Nara Inlet, come up here. It's a beautiful walk, beautiful spot. Yeah. I just love all the ferns and all the rock structures. 
the whole place is just a feel good thing isn't it isn't it just beautiful yeah. such a special place to be okay so thank you so much for watching uh, we really hope you enjoyed that video we had a pretty cool time at Nara Inlet and uh, it's just such a special beautiful place uh, we met this guy called Daniel who uh, is an Aboriginal fellow and he's such a nice guy and he actually uh, had a really cool story to tell he was uh, his uh, family uh, from the Solomons and uh, they have their own Aboriginal name. I can't remember what it was, to be honest. Um, and uh, but it's a funny story. So uh, his mother actually uh, was uh, due to give birth, and uh, in back in those days in the Solomons, they had um, a special place to go to uh, birthing place. And uh, there was a bit of uh, controversy though because father wanted to do one more peck of harvest and she was ready to give birth and she really was ready to go off to uh, the birthing place and uh, he said no just wait till tomorrow and we'll do the harvest today and then tomorrow we'll go to the birthing place <laughs> and of course uh, that didn't happen she gave birth uh, where she was uh, and she didn't get to go off to the birthing place so their family name became tomorrow <laughs> and <laughs> it's a pretty funny story but I can't remember what he said his name was but it means tomorrow so now that's their family name so it was a pretty cool story it was a great little story <laughs> yeah. so yeah I really hope you enjoyed that episode and if you do get to Nara Inlet do go and visit the caves they are pretty special yeah it was fantastic it was great meeting Daniel and uh, enlightening on a, a little bit of culture it yeah was, uh, it, was, it was just the whole thing was just great. Yeah, you know. yeah. Okay, so uh, we're going to take off now for another bay, another beautiful bay. But just again to say thanks so much. Please give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. It really helps us out. Um, we love to hear from you, so please do comment below and share with your friends and colleagues and help get our channel out there. We'd be most appreciative. So thank you and wishing you a wonderful week. Okay, I'll see you next time. Ciao for now.